What if you could create your own white room, an environment where you could develop at an unbelievable pace, leaving your competition in the dust? And what if your own white room had solved all the flaws that the real white room has? How much would your life change? Gone would be the shackles of limiting self-beliefs, replaced by relentless progress. Today, you will learn about how to transform your room into a workspace, which leverages all the scientific research to create the most optimal environment, even surpassing the fictional white room. I will give you realistic steps you can take immediately to change your performance forever. So like always, let's sit up straight and lock in. First, let's start by addressing the lighting. Did you notice that it is always extremely bright in the white room? This is not by accident. These bright lights help to facilitate focus by stimulating the release of dopamine, norepinephrine, and a healthy amount of cortisol. What does this mean for you in practice? For one, you should always have your overhead lights on when you want to study or get work done. Overhead lights are special because of the melanopsin ganglion cells in our eyes. Those neurons send little wires to an area of our hypothalamus, right above the roof of our mouth. That creates a state of alertness. Then, if you work on an electronic device, turn up the screen's brightness. Before I researched for this video, my computer screen was always on night mode, which would be the wrong approach. Also, place a lamp on your desk to get your workspace as bright as possible, while not feeling uncomfortable. If you are someone who wants to get the most out of your lighting, then you could consider purchasing a bright LED light, like a ring light, as the blue light they emit is perfect for the stimulation of those melanopsin ganglion cells. However, the best lighting is completely free. If you have the option to place your desk in front of a window, which you can open during work, this is the best solution. Why should the window be open? Well, how about you make a quick guess as to how much less effective looking at sunlight through a window is when it comes to alertness? Yes, it actually is 50 times less effective. This is because windows filter out a lot of the wavelengths of blue light that are vital when it comes to alertness. Obviously, keep in mind that you should generally refrain from seeing bright lights before going to bed. However, lighting is not the only visual tool you can exploit to create your own white room. We can also leverage the hardwired neurobiological fact that our focus increases when looking at something on our eye level and ideally slightly above it. This is because the neurons controlling eye movement are closely linked to brainstem areas releasing specific neuromodulators and neurotransmitters for either alertness or calmness. So, for instance, if you're working on a screen, consider elevating it by placing books underneath, or try holding your book slightly higher than usual. Now, does this mean that for optimal focus, you could just slouch down so you are looking up at whatever you are working on? It turns out that this is one of the few instances where teachers actually hit the nail on the head. Slouching down is contraproductive for alertness and focus. All of this has to do with the same neurons in our brainstem that I mentioned when talking about the optimal eye position. Also, this is the reason why white room students have to keep a straight posture at all times. If you are serious about improving yourself, an actionable step you should take right now is to watch the remainder of this video with a straight posture, while ideally looking up at the screen. When you look at your workspace, or more specifically your desk, how many unnecessary things do you see? All this extra clutter is adding to your cognitive load, and thereby reducing your mental capacity, even if you do not consciously notice it. The principle of maintaining a minimalist environment is the most obvious and important cornerstone of the white room philosophy. The only possible distraction left in the white room is the presence of other students, but otherwise it embodies the essence of focus and clarity. In real life, you can adopt this principle by keeping only the most essential items on your desk. Also, specifically, your phone is the enemy of deep work and should be kept in a separate room. This deliberate separation increases the friction associated with accessing your phone, encouraging you to stay focused for longer periods and delve deeper into your work without interruptions. Now let's talk about gadgets a real-life white room would undoubtedly have. While these items may be expensive, it's important to familiarize yourself with them. Even if you're not currently in a position to purchase them, consider saving this information for the future or bookmarking this video. Do you still remember when I talked about the importance of sitting straight? Well, the even better approach is to alternate between sitting straight and standing. When I thought of standing desks before, they were cool and all, but I thought of them being only good for your posture and neck pain. It turns out that besides the reduced neck and shoulder pain, alternating between sitting and standing while working also appears to result in subjective improvements in health, vitality, and most importantly, cognitive conditioning. This includes enhanced ability to embrace new tasks and improved cognitive performance. Also, you can amplify this cognitive boost even more with a treadmill under your desk. However, 
You should not use a treadmill when the task at hand heavily relies on verbal memory. If you're interested in purchasing any of the gadgets mentioned in this video, you can support me greatly by using the affiliate links provided in the description. You won't pay anything extra by using these links. Alternatively, if you prefer not to use affiliate links, I've also included the names of my recommended products in the description so you can search for them directly. Also, if you are looking for personal advice from me, feel free to check out my Patreon.